I'm surprised they got this tool on AppSumo. This is, uh, this tool has a million downloads on the Chrome store, uh, which is a lot. And this, they're self sustained. Like there's, they have 4.8 stars with almost 10,000 reviews. If you've ever used, uh, Harpa, which is, or Voila, which is, um, they're basically sort of Chrome extensions that connect to, uh, either GPT-4 or other language models. And you can, uh, you can sort of load it on any page and it has it's context aware. So it has uh, context from the page. You can ask, you can ask questions about the page. Um, a lot of these have summarization capabilities so they can summarize YouTube videos and a bunch of other stuff. So I want to just quickly make this video just to show you guys if this is worth paying. So there's only, it's only, there's only a day left. It's June 14 today. So it's only, a, I think there's less than a day for anyone to purchase this. And this is only for plus subscribers. So I don't think you can get this anymore. I wish I made this video earlier on, but it is what it is. I'm on tier three, which is, uh, well, I wouldn't even suggest get, getting tier one. I would start with tier two because in case you run out of credits, at least you can bring your own open AI API key. Um, so I'm at, I'm on tier three just because I was actually on tier two initially, but, um, I moved over to tier three just because I found it very useful and you'll see, you guys will see how. So as usual, I'll go over the reviews. Um, it's only 32 reviews, which is surprising. Uh, but if you go to the, I want to start off with the lowest reviews just to see there is, uh, okay. So yes, you can use your old or, uh, use old or small models in order to save some credits. But if you want to use new stuff, be prepared to delete, deplete your credits in the blink. For example, chat query, I mean, regular chat making question with the web access is 50 points. Just use GPT four. Oh, it's a filthy move to push us to pay $19 a month for unlimited, but AppSumo uh, is not for this kind of tricky. Okay, whatever. And then here's the truth, my friend. Uh, okay. Um, uh, note that if you use GPT-4 oh, with web access, the model needs to scrape 10 to 20 web pages, which increases the model's cost uh, dramatically, drastically, almost tenfold. Uh, most likely your 5,000 points will be enough for one month. I mean, yeah, this person, very likely just purchase the first tier, um, which I wouldn't do. Like it's, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think this is something maybe it is credit hungry. Like for, for my use case, like I'm not using Merlin as a full replacement for GPT-4 or any of these other models. I have other tools. First of all, GPT-4 oh, is free. Like, um, I know it's limited, but it is free. Um, and you always have the option of paying for that when you need to, I think this is really good when you want to just quickly chat with certain pages and you're not using this as your primary tool as a secondary tool. I think it's amazing. Um, maybe it is credit hungry, but to be honest, yeah, again, another credit hungry extension. Um, I'll, I, I don't think this is fair. I think, um, I, I think the use case, yeah, even if the credit, maybe the credit are hungry because they have to do other things such as scraping, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think this is a, a problem. And I'll say just my personal experience and personal use case, I think I've, you know, I think I, I really like it. I really like it. So um, the first thing is like, once you purchase it, you want to uh, install the actual Chrome, Chrome extension and they actually have, so you have the Chrome extension, uh, they have the web app as well, and they actually have a mobile app as well. So if you go to, um, if you have, I have Android and they have it for um, uh, iOS as, as well. Um, you can download the the Chrome extension and on, on the Chrome or sorry, the uh, mobile app and with the mobile app, you can actually use um, use it to summarize YouTube videos, which I that's that's really one of my primary use cases is uh, instead of watching videos, I love to summarize uh, summarize videos when I can, because I don't want to sometimes I, it's a long video and I just want to get the key takeaways and I don't I don't want to watch the whole thing. Um, now, getting straight to it, this is their website. Um, so some of the Cool things you can do with Merlin is you can chat with any website, which is very similar to Harpa or Voila. Um, you can chat with more than 20 plus models. Um, you can get AI responses in Google search, which I'll show you guys in a bit. You guys can chat with any website, chat with documents. You can upload documents as well. Um, you can get, it chat, it uses, uh, it, gets, it scrapes uh, the latest web data as well. Um, and it, it also connects to your Gmail, which you can, it connects to your Gmail, it connects to your Outlook. Um, you can summarize uh, YouTube videos, which I really, really like. Um, uh, link preview is a really, really cool tool. Like I'll show you guys what, what, how that looks like. And I'm surprised no one actually mentioned it. I think it's really cool. Um, and then the typical, uh, you have the tra transcription and and uh, tweeters and things like that. Um, so <clears throat> jumping straight to the dashboard, 
when you log into the dashboard, you can chat directly with Merlin. So you can actually upload documents. Um, they have other uh, previously, like there's uh, chatbots that you can use that um, they've had from before. So these are public chatbots and I don't really use this to be honest. I don't know if most people will have a need for it. Uh, where I think it's useful is just go back. How do I go back? Um, sorry, one sec. How do I go back? Anyways, let's, let's back. Okay, let's chat with. Let's. Uh, you can generate images. I'm not sure. I haven't tested this out yet, but let me. Let me. I don't know. Try like. Um, spider flying through the city of Toronto. Like I love, usually when I do something like this, it gives me a Spider-Man image, which uh, for some reason I have this, you know, infatuation with Spider-Man, but okay. Um, while it loads, uh, some other cool things I wanted to show is like, oh, it's already done. So yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, I want, I it probably uses GPT-4.0, I think. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Uh, wait, Dream Shape V6, which is, wait, wait, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. So you can actually choose different image models, which is pretty cool. So there's Leonardo da Vinci Diffusion as well. Um, okay, so you can change the, the image model here, which I didn't do, um, but this isn't too bad. Um, so now let's do, let's chat with documents. Like I'm just gonna upload a document, actually, We'll do this. Um, this was a search guided experience. It's a document I, I previously um, uploaded and I'm just gonna change the model to GPT-40. And I'm just gonna say the, the top five key takeaways and action plan for each, right? Um, and while that's doing that, let's go to Google. And uh, I just wanna be guys like, um, you know, uh, What's the latest box score for the Boston and uh, Dallas NBA game? And it uses basic search, but you can actually change it to live search. So basic search, I just, I don't think it uses, it, I don't I don't think it scrapes the, the, the actual page, but live search will go out and actually scrape things. So the latest box score for Boston for Stiles is uh, on June 6th, which, that's not when the last game happened. Last game happened um, two days ago, I think. This game was uh, the first of the 22. So yeah, I mean, that's not accurate. And, and you can see June 12th is the last game, so it's not accurate. But you, I mean, that might be a, because it's a live question, maybe, maybe um, I don't know, if I ask like, um, what is a diffusion model? And, you can go live search and it'll summarize all this information and it'll give you sources as well. So if you click on the sources, see what which URL that is, um, assembly AI. And so it got that information directly from the first. So it does, it, it can, and you can ask follow up uh, questions as well. Um, and then some related questions. So what are the different types of diffusion models? I wonder if, if it's here, but yeah, you can ask follow up questions as well. And it opens up the actual Chrome extension. Um, yeah. That's that in the, the chat. So it, it did give my re uh, response to the question that I asked, which was the top five key key, key takeaways. Um, so responsible development, it continues improvement, human input, AI powered overviews and follow ups. So just basically key points. And I, I'm interested in the detailed action plan. So uh, protocol reviews, uh, feedback integration, implement changes based on UX test results. Anyways, I can't even remember what this document is about, so I wouldn't really know how accurate this is. Um, okay. So the other thing I was going to share is code interpreter, but I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, like, I, I haven't really tested it this, this out. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, I don't know if I want to test that one out just because I don't want to take too much of everyone's time. What I want to show is something really cool which is like, let's go to the, the Merlin's uh, homepage. I'm gonna refresh this. Something really cool is you can actually hold uh, shift and then just hover over something and it gives you an AI summary of that page. Uh, so this is, uh, 
it gives you a very basic summary and then you can obviously quit it. But let's go to the pricing pages. I'm just gonna hold shift and it goes through the whole page and summarizes the whole page. Um, so it, it's just really quick. It's just a quick na uh, navigator. I know Arc Browser has this uh, capability as well. Um, I don't know, like affiliate, let's do that. Shift and then you hold it and then it summarizes the page. Earn up to sixty-seven dollars per sale as a Merlin affiliate, recurring thirty percent. So it just saves you time from actually like clicking on actual pages. Like I don't know. Let's see. Let's try something else. Um, let's do something like I don't know, free GPT four O, right? Okay. For some reason that didn't work. So you have to click on. Oh, sorry. You have to click on shift shift first and then hover over it. Wait until it loads up and then just scroll down. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Maybe because I'm in the footer. Yeah, I, I guess maybe I'm in the footer or something. Oh, uh, anyways, skip that. And the other thing I wanted to share is just the ability to summarize videos, which is, I think, really cool. So I took three long videos. So this is a, a podcast that I, uh, my last video, actually, I used this one as an example. So what you want to do is uh, basically, I don't know, if I go to the default view, you'll see it on the side like this. And you want to summarize. So sometimes, from what I understand, when you already see this summer, like it already sort of shows you that it's been summarized. Very likely someone did it already. And so they don't actually have to do the whole thing over again. But let's just do the summarize. And it, it, it said I, that was 41 credits, right, for a three-hour video. So... This is a summary of it in Spanish or something. Where is the English? Um, maybe because it, the transcript is in English or Spanish. I'm not sure. Uh, let's do the next one. Writer, okay. Uh, this is a, a video. See, someone must have summarized this before, how to master the art of film, filmmaking. Um, and then I'm going to summarize this video. So see, it's already done, right? Uh, the transcript is in English, so I don't know why uh, this is in French. Uh, well, regardless, you, you can uh, comment key points and create tweets and blogs and other things. I'll try this in a bit. Let me just go over the summary just, just to show you guys how it is pretty cool. So it goes through like sort of different parts of the whole video, and this is three hours, right? And so you can click on it. So a basic summary of what happens in this section, create a comprehensive filmmaking tutorial with insights and knowledge, and then expand for sub key sub points. It's, it's usually, usually just two points. So filmmaker Daniel Moss shares over 20 years of knowledge and experience exploring the process of idea generation, story development, shooting, and editing. So I just want, I'm just going to quickly skim on something that I find interesting. Thumbnail and title correlation is crucial for CTR. And then thumbnails, titles, and first line effects CTR. Use subtle clickbait, but emphasize the what the video is truly about. Master storytelling and filmmaking is about guiding the audience through the sequence of events with impact. So storytelling involves evo evoking emotions and transfer transforming human behavior through impact impactful communication. Developing a story includes create uh, create a hook. Um, yeah, so create a hook. Um, uh, log line title and thumbnail to engage the audience. Um, so it's really nice. Like you can, I, I would actually go through the whole thing. Just read it. Just, it saves you so much time. Just watching this whole video for three hours. You can finish this in like five minutes, right? It's just a lot of, I mean, and you can, it's, it's nice and you can, I think you, I believe you can copy it as well. Um, is there a copy somewhere here? Uh, chat. Oh, you can chat with the summary as well. So let's chat with the summary. Um, tell me the top five tips. And then, so the, the top five tips, mastering storytelling. So guiding the audience through a sequence of events with impact is crucial for gaining storytelling. Prepare your gear, um, pack essential equipment items, uh, uh, power banks for versatility, setting up your gear station, organize footage efficiently, organize media files, set up sequences properly and create edit logs to track key moments during shooting, capture diverse footage, music selection, selection integration. So you can get that. Let's do this one here. This is a, I've, I didn't finish this whole podcast, but I was listening to it. See how like you start a bunch of podcasts and you don't actually finish it because they're so long, but this one, no one summarized before. So I'm going to summarize it now and it's creating a summary. But while it's doing that, let's go back to this one. And I want to go down. Um, I want to go down and there's a section where you can um, create tweet blogs and more. So 
I'm just gonna, I wanna see if I can get a, generate a blog from this video. And so let's see what the, oh, see, I don't like it that it's GPT-4. How do I, um, okay. Okay, so I set it to GPT-4.0, now it's, it's set to GPT-4.0. But while that's doing that, let's check this summary here. Where is the summary? For some reason, it didn't work. Yeah, this is not this is not a great blog post as well at all. But I mean, one thing you can probably do is just take this and go into GPT four itself and maybe create a blog post that way. I don't think this is great. Uh, we can try something like, can I change it to um, generate a tweet thread from this video? Let's see how that goes. And just so. Um, I just want to see how many credits I used. So you have a, a tweet thread there. So I'm at 19,344. And I can't remember where I started. Uh, do I have? Uh, I can't remember what I started with. I should have started that in the beginning. But OK, let's go back here. And then you have the summary here, which is really cool. Another, another really cool thing is I just open up a random page. And you can always open up Merlin and you can actually chat with the web page itself um, and just, you know, summarize top three points in list format. And then this is where I think it's very useful. It's just if you're doing research or whatever and like you just you have a bunch of pages and you want to just get a summary of these things, it's a lot easier to do it this way. So I only asked for three points and it <laughs> it didn't listen to me. Um, that could be just a fault of the model itself. Uh, but I mean, even then it's, it's still a summary at the end of the day. Um, yeah. And the other thing I was going to show is like, you can actually, if you want to summarize a, 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 a part of the video itself or the, the post itself, you can actually add context. So for example, I just want to summarize like this section and then you can right click and click on give context to Merlin and then summarize. <clears throat> So it, it's only summarizing what I gave it as a context. And so it so it sort of summarizes that. So I think it's a really cool tool in general just to um, use AI like within other, like within other context outside of just chat GPT or like Gemini or Claude. So I think it's, it's, it's I think it's to be honest, um, in terms of credits, again, I, I, I know there was that sort of feedback, the credits, it is credit hungry, but I feel like it's, just get the tier two or tier three and you'll be good. I mean, you're not going to, like, I, I, I don't know if this is something you'd use as your primary, um, like AI tool, but for what it does and for all, especially with LTDs, like, especially because the company itself has a million downloads, like, I think it's going to be here for a while. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking at. So how long is this tool going to be and how long is it going to be useful for me? That's the main thing. So yeah, other than that, um, Till the next video. Thank you.